G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, how often does this happen? You get a, a new gadget and invariably it's made in China. I mean, there's so much stuff coming from China now. And we're fortunate because we can buy direct from China now. You know, in the old days you couldn't do it. But now with the internet and online shopping and that, the sky's the limit and you can get any amount of stuff out of China. And unfortunately, quite a bit of it has purely Chinese instructions and user uh, guides. You know, you're lucky to get one in English. Uh, it's a, just a fact of life, that's how things go. In this case, we've got uh, instructions for a very cool uh, digital caliper I've been looking at. It has a whole lot of different functions and you know the buttons are quite confusing to use and you really need to to read the instructions and know what's going on just to be able to sort it out you look at the front and that's how it looks and you look at the back i mean they're pretty basic instructions and it's it's even worse you haven't got a clue i mean look at that i mean the, the chinese language is quite complicated as i understand it but even so i mean i don't know any Chinese to read or write or speak so you know coming from the Western um, country this is what you're up against if you do buy stuff from China and it doesn't have a, an English manual so what are you going to do how are you going to you know I need I need to know what this is says so how are you going to do it well there's a number of ways you can do it there's a number of um, language interpreting apps you can get. I've got one on my mobile phone, it's a, a Google interpreter. And they're okay up to a point. The problem is that when you use them, you only need doing a little section of it and, you know, unless you're right on the, the money with it height-wise, the text jumps all over the place and you, it's a hell of a problem reading it. I'll give you an example. All right, this is a little Android. We're going to use Google Translate. It's got a camera function. And this is quite a handy app, but it's got limitations. And we'll get it down and hopefully you can see. Yeah, see it's converting, but it's, it's blotchy. It's only converting the bit that the, the camera is actually pointing at. It's it's not doing the whole document, you know. You see, you're getting all this weirdness coming out of it. It's okay in an emergency, you know. You can sort of fight your way through it. So there's got to be a better way to do it. And there is actually a good way to do it. I've um, been using for a little while. Uh, it's a program you can, that's on the internet. You just bring it up with your web browser, and what it does, it, it will do more than just um, convert a document file. It will convert any image file, so a GIF or a uh, you know uh, JPEG, um, anything you want to throw at it, basically. So that means you can just scan the document with a proper scanner as a uh, as an image file. Or you can just take a photo with your camera and it'll convert that as well. It's, it's good enough to actually convert from, I mean, it doesn't even have to be on paper. You could scan a brass plate or a you know, number plate or anything. So I'll show you what this um, program is, give you a demo. I think you'll be pretty impressed with it. I'll take a photo of this and then I'll also scan it and we'll use that as a test subject and we'll see how it shake, you know, shakes out. I think it's pretty good. That's the reason I'm doing the video, to just give you a heads up on this because, yeah, it's a, it's a real pain in the butt if you can't work out what, you know, you should be doing with something that's complicated like this little unit. All right, let's move on. Now the program we're going to use is called Yandex Translate.
Okay. Now, this is what we want. Image, translate to transfer text from photos. Click on an image. And the screen comes up. Now, up here you can see we're converting from Chinese to English, but it could be any anything you want. All right. So it can be Chinese to English. And we have to select a file. So we'll click on select a file. And I want to go to, let me see, what have we got? Translate. Okay. Now there's two files in here. There's a scanned image that's from the scanner of that uh, document we were looking at earlier and here's one an image I just took with the camera it's even got shadow on it and everything so we'll do the scan one first this is a JPEG file JPG so we'll double click on that it's doing a conversion well it's going to actually going to highlight the text first. There you go. It highlights it. Even though the document's crooked, it won't really matter. So that's anything in yellow is highlighted. Then you come up over here, open in Yandex Translate. Click on that. Bang. Look at that. How good is that, eh? Okay, it's, it's not perfect, but it's pretty damn good. All right. Now, you can uh, basically then just put your mouse there, left click on it, and roll down through the whole document. Take your finger off the mouse. Now, right click on it. Take your finger off the mouse. Copy. Okay? You've copied it. Now, that allows you to then paste it into any word processing um, software that you've got. I'll use Word. We'll fire up Word. Just go in, right click, paste. There it is. So now you can play around with it in Word. You can uh, clean it up. You know, there'll be some bugs in it, but overall it's done a pretty good job. And then print it off. Where you go? How easy is that, eh? Pretty damn good. All right, let's go back and try it with the... No, we don't want to save it. We'll go back and we'll try it with the... Um, the photo, which is a pretty dodgy looking thing. So, shut down the index, and shut down that. Uh, image. No, we're gonna, looks like we're going to go back to scratch again. Oh, we will. All right. Now, start again. Select file. We're going to go to the dodgy looking camera photo. Double click on it. It's doing its uh, highlight, picking up the text. It's still Chinese to English. And as you can see, it's picked all the text up. Well, pretty much all the text. A little bit there it didn't get. But pretty good. Opening the index translate. A scanned image would be better. And bang, there she goes. And it all looks pretty good. Pretty damn good. Now, you know, if you, any images will be ignored, of course. But you can see how good this, this translator really is. And... Uh, yeah, I think it's the bee's knees. It's certainly the best I've seen being able to do images, you know. That's the whole thing. It'll convert an image file like that. Most of them don't, and uh, it's totally free. So there you go, guys. I hope you found it interesting. Um, I think it's a pretty cool uh, site. You know, and uh, just, as I said, just hook into it on your browser and 
drop in the image file you want converted. I've tried it with a uh, metal plaque, you know, I just took a photo of a metal plaque and it did the conversion perfectly. I mean, it doesn't care. It'll just pick up whatever looks like text and, and have a go at it. I hope it solves your uh, translation problems. It's one way to do it. I'm sure there's lots and lots of others, but this is the one I like. And this, this is what I'm currently using at the moment. It's really good stuff. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.